Hey, y'all, Clem Hawkins here. I realize it's been a minute, my bad. Uh, I've been exceptionally busy, which is my good. My goodness, I hope it continues. Um, crap, I forgot what I was thinking. Oh, so I became an ordained minister today. And I'm having a meeting with the church lady to see about helping the church. And I was thinking earlier about heaven on earth, that we actually live in a heaven on earth, if we're paying attention, it's just a heaven of an earth some, what, 20, 30 years ago maybe? It's as if all of the fun things that we uh, talked about around bong fires uh, has manifested into reality, and here we are in Denver, Colorado, existing and living the dream. So, uh, it's been really good, and um, thank God for the the weather and also being really well timed at least so far I gotta learn to quit going behind these slow fucking vehicles it's a good thing I'm not a dump, a dump truck driver or a garbage I could, or a semi truck driver I just, I wouldn't have the patience to get through the gears. Oh, shit, go ahead. Some people are more in a rush than I am. They've got somewhere to go. I'm just trying to get over to the exit. You're sipping by. Oh, so you're passing on the right. You're not trying to exit. Yeah, uh, bless it. So, yeah, how fun will that be? Let's get uh, five or six cameras. Jack the wax, man. Cruising around with the Clem Hawkins and Elvis P. Muttley, the world's most famous super dog. Uh, so yeah, um, gonna go find another open mic night, I suppose. I uh, I recorded the open mic. I went to open mic night on Monday. Got stupid drunk. Uh, not so drunk as I don't remember it really. I hardly ever remember a performance. Um, when it's a good one, I'm because you, you're in the moment. You're not in a. You're not spooling off. Uh, you're not doing a principal to the, to your memory banks. It's just the live feed. And uh, so anyway. to get uh, some work done and meet with this lady and part of my work needs to be finding out where the mic night is tonight. Uh, last night I had a really interesting couple of different meetings with people at this one place. These three ladies in particular and uh, One of them just straight out came and asked me, are you homeless? I'm like, what the fuck, are you? where does that come from? And then later, some other guy just comes up and goes, no, I'm homeless. I do this and I do that, and yada, yada. And I just thought that was extremely strange. Uh, but here I sit, granted, I do this being residentially challenged to you and have been for a while, but um, maybe it's time to bring that part out, which got me back to the got to find an open mic night. Uh, boxers like cowboy. Um, I 
think and just with that thought I got I'd like to get me another crusher hat I used to when I lived in Santa Fe I had this really nice uh, the way that I got it it was made it the most uh, but it's basically a leather cowboy hat to keep the lights out of my eyes if I can help it.
well, knowing me, this is still recording. Yeah. <laughs> so I remembered it. The whole reason I started the thing, I was coming to the storage locker, and I these these are these uh, work gloves. Um, I was thinking of it as a bat cave.
I always want to come in front. I'll go up front so I can really see that. Get in your spot.
Oh wow, still recording. Gosh, sorry guys. So, just escaping the bat cave. Uh, thinking about meeting this guy. Yazoo's. I should be able to make it by two. It's one twenty. Uh, chick chick. -a. Not exactly sure what's happening or how it's happening, but I'm gonna meet this lady that teaches me to turn right the first time. So we three stops. Um, I don't know. I kind of wonder why it. Uh, How to be of maximum service, maximum effort, <laughs> which is a sarcastic way of saying with as little effort as possible. about the suspension of disbelief and medicinal effects of alcohol. And I'm not sure if it makes it makes it so we can take it more seriously or less seriously. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't even on the screen. I just thought you could yell it, but he's at the front end. Good job of listening to what this lady has to say. Maybe put her on the podcast. What do you think about that? First guest. Church lady. We church lady. Dilly dilly. I just had the thought, I wonder if I could use two phones and stream both of them live to my account, or if I'd have to have two. I should have figured out that dang thing that Jolly taught me about before, at uh, Juji or Jitsi or something. So I was thinking, okay, so I'm going to invite this lady. Yeah, the podcast 
and I was thinking, well, if I set it up on the bar as if it was uh, an actual podcast, there'd be multiple cameras, and I'm thinking, well, with just the one, we can put it on the side and get she and I, but if we put two in the middle, one on her, one on me, then we'd have to have a third one for the bartender or the uh, young Jamie. Maybe we could just get everybody there to stream their own version. And then I'll put it up on YouTube. Yeah, that's a great idea. Because if I can download it from their page, edit it, and then put it on YouTube. Fucking genius. Brilliant. Thank you, Elvis. Elvis is my co-pilot. See, there's the Elvis. Not being a good co-pilot. Oh, yeah. For, now I have a rearview mirror. The best part about my driving podcasts. When I get to do it live, I have a rear view mirror. You can't see that with that phone. But if I use this phone and take a picture of that phone. Because that phone is uh, the non-service phone. The one with the tape on it. That's the functioning phone. Well, they both. They all function. Huh. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two. So this girl last night so it's kind of sad. Here goes the train. You know, if the train was full of pranksters, we could use the Beatles song and um, change the lyrics to Here Comes the Fun. Here comes the fun. Do, do, dilly, dilly. <laughs> dilly, dilly. Dilly, dilly. Welcome to the Grand Illusion. Come on in and see what's happening. Pay your, pay the price. Get your tickets for the show. Stage is set. The band starts playing. Suddenly, your heart's pounding, wishing secretly you are a star. Don't be fooled by the radio, TV, or the magazines. Right, Elvis. Show you photographs of how your life could be. Imagine someone else's fantasy. So if you think your life is complete confusion and your name's got it made, just remember that it's a grand illusion. Deep inside, we're all the same. We're all the same. That that song right there was probably one of Tommy Shaw's meanest solos. God, I love that solo. That guy knew how to put just enough into it, but not too much. He was really good. Definitely was a fan of that band when I was a kid. So yeah, trying to figure out what's up with this snow. Yeah, uh, supposedly Boss Man tells me that's George's new uh, podcast name, Boss Man. Uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. So, how about, how about, how about, how about, how about, how about that? Makes me want to play some Art of Noise with uh, Head Max Room. 
Maximum headroom. That's a term for the uh, most... Headroom is how loud you can be, I think. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, music. Max headroom. Artists. Art of noise. Art of love. Don't want that one. Crusoe. Talking to myself. Oh, that's what I was doing this for. Nothing in this world can make monkeys day like music. I wonder if in all this time Elvis has figured out what traffic lights are. Big fussy fur bald Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> 